Okay, good, good. Coach Council, open up with a quick statement, then we'll have questions. Awesome. Uh, so happy Easter. So that's a pretty good looking setup right there. I think my daughter's hiding from the uh, Easter bunnies right now. So, uh, but yeah, happy Easter to you guys. Uh, just want to make sure we got the spring game. Uh, talk about it. I'm excited. Uh, hopefully, we get a record crowd there. And I think we're giving away these for the first uh, student, first 2,000 first students. 2000 so students first 5,000 fans. First five out with the 404 thing. Uh, and then the big thing, the, the talk today with the guys was about working to be above the line. And uh, they've really embraced that. They went out there and played. I thought there was great energy. Um, it started off with great energy when we even went to Yellow Jacket Alley, had a team meeting. There's a lot of juice, a lot of positivity, and they carried it all the way through, even to the very end. I don't even know if y'all were out there and could hear and see how into it the entire team was. Uh, all the way to the very end. Just really proud of these guys on how they've embraced the energy and all the new things that we're doing and uh, have attacked everything. Uh, there's one more week of spring ball and then exams. Uh, and then they'll get with Coach Corolla for the summer conditioning program. Really excited how much they've developed over the last four months. And once they get with him for those two months in the summer, uh, how much they'll develop. I'm really excited about that. Offensively, since we're doing so much no huddle and tempo and speed, the big emphasis is the signals, knowing the signals, how we substitute the communication patterns. Um, I thought for uh, 11 days throughout spring, our defense has really improved in its tackling. Thought we took a little bit of step back today in that regard. And uh, we got to take all the things that we've learned uh, through the way we practice over the last 11 practices. And when we get into a live situation, uh, continue to get better at that. So uh, those were the takeaways from today. So any, any questions? On the field today, did you use this as a dress rehearsal for Friday? Not really. With the headphones and everything? We, did, we used headphones last week, too. Okay. Yeah, so it's the same. Uh, so we try to make sure the communication is good in everything that we do. Um, so we had that last week as well. When you come into the spring, I'm sure you have a checklist of things that you want to get done. You know you need right. to, sure. you have a month to get this done. Right. When you look back, now you have a week left. How do you evaluate where you guys yep. are and what you need to do? So the big thing that we did on Wednesday, had a big staff meeting about all the little details that we've got to make sure that the last week we cover last plays, our Hail Mary, uh, all the things that are the end of game scenarios uh, that we've got to make sure that they've heard and are introduced to. And uh, so we're doing that in every phase, all the special teams phases, every little thing that we need to at least introduce. We've got a big checklist So next Tuesday and Thursday uh, will be a lot of situational things to make sure we're educating the guys on how to do those things. Like even, even today we played overtime and a couple of the guys, we had to educate them, here's what you do when you win the toss, here's what you do when you lose the toss. So it's a process of educating them um, on all the situations and everything that big time programs do. Josh Moncada looked like he had a really nice run for you. He broke some tackles. And so I think, I think even before halftime, Josh had about 150 yards receiving. Oh, wow. So he's doing really good. Um, we wear uh, the catapult things. We've made a big deal about the, the scientific data that we collect every single day. Um, Coach Horton did a huge study over the first 10, 11 practices. Josh Moncada and Marion Brown are the two that have hit some of the highest speeds, accelerations, velocities throughout the entire spring. So really excited about him. He's done a great job for us. Uh, learning the offense, knowing the offense, and then playing at a high level. What's the plan for dividing up the team for the spring game? A great question. So it'll be similar to how we had it today, but then we'll just tweak some of it. Um, we're trying to make it to be as balanced of rosters as we can. And, uh, you know, it, all that matters is if you're above the line and uh, giving guys the opportunity to play with one another every single day that you guys have seen at practice. It's a different pairing of safeties, different grouping of receivers, and we do that throughout the, you know, different setup of the offensive and defensive lines, and we will continue to do that uh, all the way through next week. Have injuries affected how you divide it up? And where are a little you bit, injuries? yeah, we, we are, and I don't really talk about the specifics of them, uh, but there, there have been some, and, uh, you know, we do so much two-spot during practice. Um, the ends of the last two or three practices, we've gone to one spot, 
um, just to, you know, because we were down at certain positions and we want everybody to continue to be <laughs> to be safe. How do you feel about how Lucas is throwing the ball? Really good, yeah. really good. Um, I've been pleased with him. He threw some bombs today. Uh, James Graham as well. Uh, Liam Byrne had some nice plays. So really excited uh, about them and even how they're going to progress being around Coach Patnode even more moving forward. I know you kind of talked about, you know, a big theme has been situational awareness. Yep, yep. How do you feel like this, especially the offense, has come along and really understanding what to do when, those, sure. when things break down and everything? Yeah, so we do that every single day. There's a different situation that we throw at them, and the little things that come up that they haven't known, uh, you know, we're able to educate them, and we do it globally. Um, you know, so we, that's that's something we're improving on every day. Tobias is hurt together. What's that? Tobias is hurt. Yeah, yeah, so they'll be day-to-day, -day, um, so hopefully we'll know more, you know, uh, going into the spring game. Have you, have you installed as much as you want to install? Uh, offense, we put we put a ton in on both sides of the ball and on special teams. And the big thing we've told them so last Saturday, uh, we really watered it down and made it very simple. Today was much more multiple. The thing that we did in the different periods, the team moved the field period, the team moves plays period. I kind of micromanaged Coach Thacker a little bit. Certain periods it would be all single high defenses. Other periods it would be all two high defenses, and uh, just to let them get their feet set and you know have a similar uh, coverage process uh, going to each period. I thought they handled it well, um, but we put a lot in, and just proud of these guys how much they've absorbed and really attacked learning the playbook, learning the scheme, and, and really getting better every single day. When it comes to the spring game on Friday, yep. how much does it mean to you to see a lot of people come out for it and see that excitement? <laughs> yeah, that is a huge deal for us. Um, you know, these kids deserve it. These young men have worked so hard. And, uh, you know, I just think that, you know, this, uh, this place is special. I don't think there's a better venue than Bobby Dodd at night and just excited to be back in this atmosphere. And hopefully it's a record-breaking night and all of the Yellow Jacket Nation comes out and supports us. And, uh, you know, it's going to be exciting. One or two more for Coach McKay. Okay, so now early in row leagues. It looks like all of them took advantage of coming in. Absolutely, early. yeah. The Jordan Huff made a bunch of good plays today. Amari and Brown. Um, Sylvain is doing really good. Jared Southers, Tyler Davis. Um, those have been really – those two – have been huge pieces uh, to us establishing the culture and building it for a great future. And they've done a great job, you know, embracing everything that we do and in a short time becoming, you know, leaders of, of, of this program. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Stay dry and get an Easter egg with